Greetings, junior scientists, scientists, and citizens. It's a great, big, weird, wild, and wonderful world in which we live. As always, I'm your humble science communicator, the great Orvax, and I'm here to give you the what, why, and how of the April 8th, 2024 total solar eclipse. In this video, we answer the question, why this eclipse? Every few years, we hear about eclipses in our area on the news. So why is this eclipse interesting or different? I mean, didn't we just have an eclipse back in October? October's eclipse was an annular eclipse, also known as a ring of fire eclipse. You see, the orbit of the moon around the Earth isn't a perfect circle, it's actually elliptical. This means that there are times when the moon is closer to the Earth and times when it's further away. And when it's further away, it's actually about 40,000 kilometers further away. This is commonly referred to as a micromoon, and that distance is significant enough that the moon doesn't totally cover the sun. It just leaves this ring of fire around the outside edge, creating an annulus of sunlight. Unfortunately in Ontario, we weren't in the path that the shadow or umbra of the moon casts on the Earth. But we were able to experience a partial solar eclipse where the moon blocked out a portion of the sun, depending on where you observed it from. At its maximum here in Guelph, we were only able to see about 30% coverage. Back in 2017, Guelph experienced a fairly impressive partial solar eclipse with 77% coverage. While a partial eclipse was visible here, a total eclipse occurred in the middle of the United States. In fact, it was the first total solar eclipse that was visible in the mainland US since 1979. And we haven't had a total solar eclipse in this area since 1925. In our last video, we learned that solar eclipses actually aren't that rare. The alignment of the sun, the moon, and the earth occurs a couple times a year, so why do we think of them as being so rare? Well, 71% of the earth's surface is water, and of the remaining 29% left, only 43% of that is habitable. Not mountains, or ice, or desert. So your chances of being able to view an eclipse from where you live have already been greatly reduced. If you happen to be in the path of totality, you'll see a total solar eclipse take place on April 8th. And that path of totality cuts its way through eastern Ontario and eastern Canada for the first time since 1925. And it's not going to happen again until 2144. Now the further you get from that path, the less coverage of the sun you're going to get. Here in Guelph, we're going to experience 99% coverage, but as close to us as Hamilton, you're going to experience full totality. Thanks for tuning in, junior scientists. And don't forget to check out our other two videos to find out what an eclipse is and how to observe it. Until next time, junior scientists, don't forget to take some time and look up. <laughs>